Hi, my name is Phil Susan. Welcome. Uh, I, you might know me as a bass player who played with Ozzy Osbourne, Billy Idol, Vince Neil, many, many people. I've played with people such as uh, as diverse as um, as uh, as John Waite uh, to Richie Carson, and consequently. Uh, all of these people have different aspects to their influences. So when we're playing basically rock music, we're also getting a little bit of R&B, a little bit of funk, a little bit of uh, these other people's flavors. And as a bass player, I'm looking for some way to complement their music by putting that flavor into what I'm doing. I'm here today to talk with you a little bit about the Carl Martin um, Optical Envelope Filter which is a uh, fantastic unit. It's basically a touch wah, uh, an automatic envelope follower. And the way that it works is like this. Uh, everyone's familiar with the wah-wah pedal. Uh, the envelope filter, what it does is it, it automatically sweeps across the frequency range using the amplitude of the signal going into it. So the harder you hit it, the more it's gonna sweep across. And the softer you hit it, the less it's gonna sweep across. But it's automatic and it's nice. It gives a really kind of different type of, 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 of sound, which I'm sure is familiar to, to, to you. Um, there have been many units that try to do this. I think this, one's, this one does it the best. Um, so, on to the uh, unit. A little bit about, um, well, let, let, let's, let's hear what it sounds like. I've got this dialed in a little bit and um, I'm going to play a little bit of, of a, a line here. kick it in so you can hear it. And you can hear what it's doing. As I play harder, I get more of a sweep. Now, we're going to go over the controls a little bit and I'm going to show you what the controls do and how you can dial it in for the sound that you want um, which is going to relate best to the people you're playing with to the band to the style of music so if we look at the pedal we have obviously two foot switches one foot switch kicks the effect in and out and self-explanatory we have three different band variations um, they're colored red green and yellow the red one, if we have a listen to it, is very, very extreme. It almost sounds like the whole signal is going straight through the envelope filter. And um, it's very much an effect. Uh, so you want to use that kind of thing where you want that as an effect in its own. As we go to the green one, we get we get a little bit more of the uh, low frequencies that are going through. So it's probably going through a low pass filter, uh, uh, um, a low pass filter that's allowing those low frequencies to go through. And the rest of the frequency range is going through, through the envelope uh, filter and follow, and it's following uh, um, with, uh, as, as the whole signal. If we go to the yellow one, we're really getting the full range of the instrument. And so that's probably the most useful uh, uh, one to start with because it's something you can incorporate while you're playing with the band. It's not just an effect that you're going to kick in. Um, we have four controls over here. We have a level control, which is self-explanatory. We have a drive control. We have a tone control. And we have a cue control. People who are familiar with a parametric e equalizer will know that the cue control is a bandwidth control. It affects how wide that frequency range is that we're going to sweep up and down the range. The tighter it is, the more um, acute that sound is going to come across. The looser, uh, the wider it is, the smoother it's going to be. Um, the tone 
affects where in the frequency range we're going to sweep. Are we going to sweep from low to mid-low, or are we going to sweep from mid-high to high, or somewhere in the middle? And we can arrange, we can set where we want that range to be exactly. And the drive is going to give us, it acts like a threshold, so that's where it starts to kick in. If we take the drive all the way up to the top, we'll find that we're going, we're getting the whole sweep right from the top. If we take it down to the bottom, I probably have to hit him pretty hard to even get it to start to kick. So what you want to do is you want to tune that in and find that sweet spot where it's sort of right where it complements your playing. So from your quiet to your loud, you're going to get that range. Um, and then what we could do is we can adjust the tone, bring it down so we get exactly the kind of uh, uh, f frequency range that we want. And then smooth it out using the cue control till we find exactly what we want. I like that. I think that sounds really good. And that sounds like uh, a, an effect that would work simply while I'm playing a bass line with everybody else. So I want to add some, some motion to it. So we might have a solo section and, you know, we're playing along. dimension that's going. Uh, I'm, I, I like to refer to it as three-dimensional. My first dimension is the notes I'm playing, the second dimension would be how loud am I playing, and the third dimension is what tone am I sweeping across. So I'm getting a picture which is really kind of cool, and it's taking up some, it's, it's, it's making a, a cool texture in the low, low, low end of, uh, of what's going on. I'm playing with a drummer, and we've got other instruments on top, and when you're hearing all of that stuff together, it really sounds like there's, there's some motion going on. And the other thing you can do with it, of course, is to kick it in just to accentu accentuate a, a little fill. So if you're, not, if you're playing in a, a, say you're playing a riff in E again, and So we can sort of kick it in and out, and that'll make those little lead lines jump out and be noticed by the audience. So that's it. I wish you lots of luck. I uh, hope you enjoy this pedal, and I hope it brings an, a great dimension to your playing. If you want to follow up on what I'm doing, uh, visit me at my website, www.philsusan.com. And uh, I've had a lot of fun showing you a little bit about this pedal. Good luck. Rock on, man. Have a good time. See you soon. Oh,